Alam niyo ba na ang pagiging paligoy-ligoy kapag tayo ay nagsasalita ay itinuturing na first cousin ng paulit-ulit na pagsulat o yung tinatawag nating redundant writing. Yung tipong may ipapahayag ka at sinabi mo yan gamit ang anim na salita pero kaya mo naman palang ipahayag gamit lamang ang dalawang salita. Paano nga ba maiiwasan ang pagiging paligoy-ligoy? Yan ang pag-aaralan natin sa video natin ngayon. Hello! I am Teacher Aubrey and welcome back to my channel. I am an English teacher and my mission in this channel is to help those who would like to improve their English speaking, writing, and communication skills. Kaya naman kung interesado ka sa mga ganyang uri ng videos, iniimbitahan kita na maging bahagi ng ating YouTube online community of learners. Simple lang ang gagawin. You just have to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell para lagi kang updated every time I will upload new videos. Inimitahan ko rin kayo na maging bahagi ng aking second YouTube channel in which I do vlogs together with my family. It is Aubrey and Family Lifestyle TV. Maaari ninyong i-click ang link sa taas para makapag-subscribe. Let's talk about wordiness in today's video lesson. Matanong ko kayo, ano nga ba ang wordiness? Wordiness in the English grammar is considered as the first cousin of redundant writing. O pag sinabi natin wordiness in Filipino, tinatawag itong pagiging masyadong masalita o paligoy-ligoy. Anong halimbawa? Kapag may nais kang ipahayag at sinabi mo yan gamit ang walong salita, pero pwede mo naman palang ipahayag gamit lamang ang dalawang salita. Iyan ang malinaw na halimbawa ng wordiness o pagiging paligoy-ligoy. Ang pagiging paligoy-ligoy bilang pinsan ng pagiging paulit-ulit kapag tayo'y sumusulat o nagsasalita ay maituturing nating isang dahilan kung bakit nawawala ng magic o ng halaga o ng ganda ang ating mga sinasabi o isinusulat lalo na kapag sumusobra, nagiging bloated ang ating mga sinasabi, ang ating mga isinusulat. At ano pa, gaya rin ng redundant writing na tinalakay ko nung nakaraan, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, maaari ninyong i-click ang link sa taas para mapanood ninyo. Sinasayang rin ito ang mahalagang oras ng inyong mga mambabasa at mga tagapakinig. Kaya naman sa lesson natin ngayon, may ibabahagi ako sa inyong labing limang mga parirala or phrases na na i-apply natin yung pagiging wordiness na tinatawag at aalamin natin yung mga salita na maiikli lang o maaring isa o dalawang salita lang na pwedeng ipalit sa kanila. At syempre, gagamitin din natin sa pangungusap para mas maunawaan ninyo. Ano pang hinihintay natin? Umpisahan na natin. We will be having first the wordy phrase, then we will be using that in a sentence, at gusto kong isipan ninyo ng substitute phrase na mas maikli na ipapalit sa kanila. Number one is, a small number of learners attended the online class. The wordy phrase there is, a small number of. Those are four words, a small number of. Ano kaya ang pwede natin i-substitute or ipalit para umikli yan? We can say, a few learners attended the online class. So instead of saying, a small number of, we can just say, a few. At pareho lamang naman silang tumutukoy sa kakaunting bilang. So it will be, a few learners attended the online class. Second wordy phrase is this, being on the opinion that. Being on the opinion that. Those are five words. At ang kahulugan lang naman ay yung bagay na pinaniniwalaan o naiisip mo. Anong pwedeng ipalit? Maaari natin ipalit sa wordy phrase na yan ay I think or I believe. Just two words. Gamitin natin sa pangungusap. It will be like this. I believe... Staying at home 
will help lessen the transmission of the virus. Again, I believe staying at home will help lessen the transmission of the virus. Pwedeng I believe, pwedeng I think. Third wordy phrase is, can it be avoided? Can it be avoided? O hindi talaga mag-iiwasan o kailangan talaga. Anong maaari ipalit natin dyan? Maaari natin gamitin ang salitang should or must. Gamitin natin sa pangungusap. You must wash your hands too often. Or you should wash your hands too often. Pwedeng must, pwedeng should. Fourth wordy phrase is due to the fact that. Due to the fact that. Those are five words. Ano kayong maaaring ipalit natin? Maari natin i-substitute sa mga salitang yan ay because or since. Dahil ang kahulugan lang naman yan ay yung dahilan kung bakit nangyaring isang bagay. Gamitin natin sa pangusap. The school year gets delayed because of the pandemic. Pwede rin naman na the school year gets delayed since the pandemic started. Pwede because, pwede since. Fifth wordy phrase is excessive number of. Excessive number of. Ang nais na ipakahulugan yan ay sobrang dami bilang o sobrang dami. Ano kayong pwedeng ipalit dyan? Maari natin ipalit dyan ay too many. Too many. Let's use it in a sentence. Too many learners have a hard time coping with their lessons. Too many learners have a hard time coping with their lessons. Again, instead of excessive number of, we can just use too many. Sixth wordy phrase is for the purpose of. For the purpose of. Those are four words. Nais lang ipahayag ng phrase na yan, yung dahilan o yung purpose ng isang pangyayari o isang bagay. Ano kayong maaaring nating ipalit? Maaaring nating ipalit ang salitang to o for. To, kung nais ipahayag yung dahilan ng isang pangyayari at for naman kung para kanino yung ginawang kilos. Gamitin natin sa pangusap. To get much help, the government seeks assistance from foreign countries. This time, gamitin naman natin yung for. The government seeks assistance from foreign countries for their people. Again, instead of using for the purpose of, pwede natin gamitin to, pwede rin namang for. Seventh wordy phrase is give consideration to. Give consideration to. Maari nating ipalit siyan ay ang salita lang na consider. Gamitin natin sa pangusap. Sa halip na sabihin the teachers give consideration to their learners during this pandemic, maari lang natin sabihin na the teachers consider their learners during this pandemic. Kung marami ka nang natutunan, huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share, mag-comment. At mag-subscribe ka na rin sa ating channel. Eighth wordy phrase is has a tendency to. Those are four words. Pwedeng has, pwedeng have. Again, has or have a tendency to. Ano maaari natin ipalit? Maaari natin ipalit dyan ay often. Gamitin natin sa pangusap. Sa halip na sabihin, some learners have a tendency to submit their modules late. Maaari na natin sabihin, some learners often submit their modules late. Again, often. Ninth wordy phrase is last but not least. Again, last but not least. Those are four words. Ano kaya ang maaari natin ipalit? Maari natin ipalit ay finally. Simple lang, finally. Gamitin natin sa pangusap. After many attempts, they finally gave up. After many attempts, they finally gave up. Tenth wordy phrase is 
make an examination of make an examination of those are four words ano maari ipalit para ubikli maari lang nating sabihin na examine again examine straight to the point gamitin natin sa pag-uusap sa halip na sabihin nating the doctor will make an examination of patients at risk pwede na nating sabihin the doctor will examine the patients at risk. Ganun lang kasimple. Eleventh wordy phrase is non at all. Non at all. Those are three words. Non at all. Maari lang natin ipalit dyan ay non. Let's use in a sentence. It will be none of this is necessary. None of this is necessary. Twelfth wordy phrase is this. Present time. Present time. Those are two words. At bukod sa pagiging paligoy-ligoy, nakakitaan din siya ng pagiging paulit-ulit or redundant because when we say present, automatically it talks about time o panahon because when we say present, it means now. Ano maaari natin ipanit sa present time? We can just say present or now. Either of the two. Let's use in a sentence. The condition of the hospitals seems to get worse at present. Again, the condition of the hospitals seems to get worse at present. Thirteenth wordy phrase is the majority of. The majority of. Those are three words. Ano bang kahulugan yan? Na islang iparating yan na karamihan sa o mas maraming bilang, mas nakahihikit. Ano maari natin ipalit dyan? Ano sa palagay ninyo? We can just say most. Gamitin natin sa pangungusap. Instead of saying the majority of hospitals, are getting congested. We can just say most hospitals are getting congested. Again, just use the word most. We are now on our 14th wordy phrase. Listen, until such time as. Those are four words. Anong maari natin ipalit? We can just say until. Yun lang, until. Let's use it in a sentence. Instead of saying I work up until such time as noon. We can just say, I work up until noon. Just say, until. Finally, we are on our 15th wordy phrase. Listen carefully. With regard to. With regard to. Those are three words. Ano ang maari natin ipalit? We can just use the word concerning o pwede rin namang about. Gamitin natin sa pangungusap. Sa halip na sabihin mong the headline of the news is with regard to the vaccination of senior citizens, you can just say the headline of the news is about the vaccination of senior citizens. So, hindi mo na sasabihin with regard to, you can just say about or concerning. Marami ba kayong natutunan? And this is my task for you. Gusto ko na mag-isip rin kayo ng iba pang wordy phrase o yung mga pariralang paligoy-ligoy sa English language. At i-share nyo sa ating comment section sa iba ba at ilagay nyo yung maaaring i-substitute or ipalit sa kanila para mas maging concise, para mas maging straight to the point at para mas maging malinaw. And I will be glad and I will really appreciate your comments and your suggestions below. And that's the end of our video lesson for today. If you learned a lot, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to share it with your friends. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button below and also ring the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa ating mga bagong videos. It's shout out time at ngayon, Unahin ko ng shoutout ang aking kuya na si Kuya Mark Joseph Ibanez. And 
pinyo promote ko rin ang channel niya. He is a Lalamove courier. Yes, nagkatrabaho siya sa Lalamove. So, ayun nga, nagde-deliver siya ng iba't-ibang goods and items and products. And he is also starting his YouTube channel. He shares his experiences. Kaya, i-invite ko kayo mag-subscribe sa channel niya. That is Kapotpot Moto Vlog. Anything na tumatalakay sa kanyang pagiging Lalamove driver, maaari ninyong i-click yung link sa taas para makapag-subscribe sa channel niya. Next naman ay binabati ko si Jinjen Ace Ferrer. Hello sa'yo, Jinjen Ace. Siya ay uh, schoolmate ko nung ako ay college, but she is an HRM graduate, a very talented young lady. Dahil ngayon ay may sinisimulan siyang online business na pumapatok dahil tinatangkilit ng marami dahil ito ay handmade ang paggawa niya ng different products, gaya ng ipit, ng hikaw, ng mga sinusuot ng baby, or kahit ng mga damit. And she's also starting her YouTube channel. You may uh, visit her YouTube channel. It is Penelope's Collections. Again, Penelope's Collections. I will put the link above. I-click nyo para makapag-subscribe kayo. Marami kayong matututunan, kaya huwag nyo kalimutan na mag-subscribe and isupport natin siya. Also, you may check her items on Shopee para makapag-order kayo. Lahat ay ang gaganda. Talagang marami yung bumibili. Soon, maisusuot ka sa aking mga videos yung kanyang mga hikaw na ginagawa. Talagang magugustuhan nyo rin. Shoutout naman natin si Camille Camelon. Hello, Camille! Si Camille ay aking high school friend and classmate. Sabi niya, so proud of you, Aubrey. Ayan, maraming salamat. Mag-iingat ka lagi. Thank you so much, Camille. Next naman, i-shoutout natin si Josie Tripoli. Hello, Josie Tripoli. Isa siyang kapatid din sa iglesia na laging nagsisend sa akin ng personal messages. Sabi niya, thank you very much, ma'am. Aubrey, I got perfect answers. Ayan, na kahit lumang videos ko, binabalikan niya at sinasagutan niya rin yung mga quiz. Marami pong salamat. Next, i-shoutout natin si Jaime Trinidad. Hello po, Jaime Trinidad. Maraming salamat, Teacher Aubrey Bermudez. Marami akong natutunan sa mga turo mo. Ay, maraming salamat. Sana mas marami ka pang matutunan at patuloy pong sumubaybay sa akin pong mga video lessons. Next, i-shoutout natin si Team Ponath Stories. Hello sa'yo. Kung ano man totoo mong pangalan, i-comment mo once marinig mo tong shoutout ko. Napatpad ako sa videos ni Ma'am Aubrey kasi I have a virtual demonstration for our major subject. So, isa siyang education student. And I decided to choose SVA, especially the basic one. Thank you, Ma'am Aubrey. You explained it well. Ito na sana gagamitin ko for demo. Salamat. Ayan ha, good luck sa'yo, lalo na sa magiging demo teaching mo. Balitaan mo ako. Next naman, i-shoutout natin si Jocelyn Tutane. Sabi niya, thank you so much, Teacher Aubrey, with lots of hearts. Salamat din sa pagsubaybay, Jocelyn Tutanes. Next naman, i-shoutout natin si Eckhart Bunch. Eckhart Bunch. Sabi niya, very nice handwriting. Love your video. Ayan, maraming salamat. Pati yung handwriting na puna pa niya. Maraming salamat. And lastly, i-shoutout natin si Dante Brule. Hello sa'yo, Dante Brule. Sabi niya, An Yong Haseyo, Son Seing Din, Son Seing Nin, or Teacher Obri. Kam sa Hamida. You are great, madam. Ayan ha. Nag-Korean pa siya. Medyo naiintindihan ko naman. Marami pong salamat, Dan Trebrule, and sa lahat ng mga nag-request at gusto mo shout out, huwag mahiya na mag-comment sa ating comment section sa iba ba para sa susunod na videos. Mababasa ko naman ang mga pangalan ninyo. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all, to thank all my YouTube online learners, the members who joined into my exclusive membership in this channel at sa lahat ng nagme-message personally sa aking Facebook page, sa aking personal Facebook, sa email na hindi ko po nasasagot lahat pero deep inside my heart sobra akong thankful sa mga nagpapasalamat at naka-appreciate niyo yung ginagawa ko nito at hangat ko patuloy pa pong lumawak ang ating pong YouTube online community of learners kaya naman yung mga videos na naririto sa aking channel maaari ninyong i-share sa inyong mga kapatid, kaibigan, kaka Klase, para sila man ay matuto. And lastly, hayaan nyong i-motivate at ipaalala ko muli sa inyo ito na ano man ang inyong edad, ano man ang inyong estado sa buhay o narating sa buhay basta't mayroon kayong mga pangarap. Walang imposible basta lagi lamang pong pagsisikapan at pagsasanayan. And see you on my next video! Bye for now!